How we doing guys? Back for another beer review. This time we have a beer sent to me by Beer Gee. Beer Guy Reviews. Most excellent flying Frenchman. Um, and this is going to be Collective Arts Rhyme and Reason Extra Pale Ale. There we go, and it says profile unfiltered extra pale ale showcases the very best hops we have to offer. They have citrus, centennial, chinook, and simcoe. Uh, excessive bitterness for maximum drinkability. Oh, prevail without excessive bitterness for maximum drinkability. So it's supposed to be more about the hop flavor than it is the bitterness. Um, it says it has malt sweetness to complement. Hopefully that's true. 5.7% alcohol by volume, and these guys are out of um, Burlington and Bracebridge, Ontario. CollectiveArtsBrewing.com Alright. Got their logo on the cap there. I guess you... It's probably that's the way it's supposed to go. I assume that's supposed to be a C. But I don't know. Alright. Alright, just a little active. And I think there was a date on this one. Um, pretty sure I did see a date. Yeah, it was for their play hooky, I guess, in conjunction with play hooky, some sort of art music session thing. That was... In like June of this year, so this is a bit old. So we'll see how the hops have held up. If they have, I, I don't know, of course, what this is supposed to taste like. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. Probably not. Oh, yeah, I think you can get that the little. There's some big chunks in that sucker. It's definitely unfiltered, and some of it has... Looks like it's turned into globules or... Globules or whatever. Oh no, it's more like flakes. Alright, so it's, it's definitely had the sediment sort of sitting there for a while, disturbed, and it's collected. But uh, yeah, it's... Um, looks like unfiltered orange juice in the color. Still have a really good head there. Let's go right to the aroma. Mm. Sure doesn't smell faded. Very juicy. Tropical um, citrus sort of smell. Kind of reminds me of... Like those Five Alive... Um, fruit punches, well not the fruit punch, but they're like, I guess like their citrus and their peach drinks and stuff like that. It's just got a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of a peachiness, a little bit of a maybe pineapple. Definitely, definitely sort of those sort of smells. A little bit of grapefruit. It smells good. Okay, we'll go right to the taste. Cheers. I think either the hops have faded or they've really smoothed it out. Because um, that's a lot of, there's some pretty strong hops they got going on in there. Um, especially like Simcoe. Um, very light bodied. Not getting a lot of flavor. 
It's very juicy. Um, again, it's sort of like um, Five Alive Juice sort of kind of thing. Very citrus forward. Uh, basically, the only flavor I'm getting is from the hops, though, I think. So, that's good. I've never had a session IPA, but this is what I would envision those sort of session IPAs tasting like, I guess, from what people have described them to me. Um, very light in body, but a lot of hop flavor. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of hop flavor, but it's at the same time it's toned down and mild. It's not overly bitter. I've heard some of those session IPAs are very bitter, but this the bitterness is very nice and mild in the background so I mean honestly that'd be a great summer drink if, if this is the way it's supposed to have been fresh and I'm assuming it's probably faded a little bit it was probably a bit more fresh tasting a bit more juicy tasting I don't know if it would have been all that much more bitter probably a little bit more flavor coming out from a fresh one but overall you sort of get the idea of what this was like fresh uh, if it indeed changed at all. Um, and it's a very sessionable, light, drinkable, citrus forward sort of a beer. Um, you could drink it like a, like your Budweiser's or any of that shit. Um, but you know, you'd be getting a lot better flavor out of this sucker. And it's, it is refreshing and it's nice. It's very good. You can tell they put together a very nice beer here. Not much in the way of malt balance. Um, well, there there is malt balance, but you really don't detect it all that much. I mean, if the malt is doing anything, it's sort of under the behind the scenes kind of doing something. Because for the most part, it's a big hop showcase, hop forward beer. Um, I'm getting a little bit of malt in the background, but. Not as much as I would have expected if this beer had faded any. Uh, the hops would have faded and the malt would have come out more. So it makes me think, you know, again, I'm saying if this has changed uh, by any degree in the last three or four months since it was, you know, a fresh bottle, um, the malt must be like next to non existent in the actual fresh bottle. So. Ah, interesting. That's very good. Um, just based on this, you know, four-month-old bottle, um, I am going to give that a three seven five out of five. Uh, very, very good. Uh, especially if you're looking for something sort of light, but hop forward and tasty. Uh, as far as the summer drink goes, the summer pale ale goes, uh, very, very good. So, the rhyme and reason from Collective Arts, that gets a 3.75 out of 5. Thank you very much, Guy. Uh, I am going to sit back and enjoy this one. Cheers.